The IA dissertation is understanding how to um, apply the economic research you've done over the last two years to a specific uh, topic that you're quite interested in. So it's learning to apply both the theory and the econometric techniques to investigate a specific topic within the field that you particularly like. My project was about the commuting paradox and the economic theory behind it is that people should commute up until the point where the marginal cost of commuting, so the monetary value, the foregone time, all that kind of thing, is equalised against the marginal benefits, which are things like higher incomes or more opportunities for jobs or lower cost housing. And so economic theory predicts that rational agents should equalise those two things and should either net out in a positive way or net neutral. Whereas the commuting paradox is this phenomenon where people with longer commutes typically um, report lower levels of subjective well-being, which seems as though it's an irrational decision. So I looked at whether people um, who were innately faster or slower to adapt to change were more or less susceptible to the paradox. And what I found was that people who are slower to adapt to change um, do suffer the paradox, whereas those who are fast do not. And so applying um, government policies that are based on a sort of one-size-fits-all model doesn't really work for this sort of um, policy implications, which is why it's quite relevant in today's world. Alex was um, my supervisor and he was amazing throughout the process. He also is the professor for behaviour economics, which is the module within which my dissertation, I guess, sort of fits in. He gave me great advice, especially on sort of deciding the topic, which I think was the hardest part about the dissertation in itself. For me, the most important skill that I took out of it was actually um, learning to critically evaluate other people's work. And the reason I say that is because I feel like when you go through your degree, you learn a lot about different models and different theories of different people. But it's quite important when you get, especially to your final year, to understand the different strengths and weaknesses of all the arguments you've been taught so far and to understand which ones most align with each other and which ones are sort of weaker. And I think that gave me a real sense of fulfillment when I was trying to understand um, the literature based around my topic. I'm graduating this year as I'm a finalist at um, Warwick and I'm about to go start a master's at Imperial doing business analytics. So the sort of, the sort of coding elements, statistical analysis has really set me with a good foundation to branch out into a sort of tech, tech field future as you could say. Um, which is really, it's given me a lot of confidence that I'm going to A, enjoy my masters and B, hopefully be quite good at it. <laughs> so I've always been quite interested in businesses since I was young and so I'm hoping to go into consultancy because I think it sort of puts me in the most direct contact with that. And I, as with all the data collection going on, particularly in retail and um, consumer goods, which is the industry I'm really passionate about, um, using the sort of analytical skills and statistical modelling that you learn for the RIE is particularly important when going forward into that field.